Hi everybody, and thanks for watching this video. Um, I frequent eBay a lot, and I kind of just scope around to see if I can find anything interesting, and Space Invaders, Asteroids are some of my all-time favorites. And I saw this, uh, this is actually from Japan, obviously, but actually I found this in England for a really good price. It's a uh, working Space Invaders game based on a uh, Space Invaders uh, tabletop. Uh, it's actually a bank, and you have to put money in it uh, to get the game to play. And you can see even the outside box here is in really good shape. This is a shot of the uh, of the top down front showing you the, the unit in here. And it looks like it's in really, really good shape. Here's a little closer view. Uh, there's a decal on here. Uh, it shows you the gameplay. And you can see there's the original invaders from the arcade machine. And similar to the Excalibur unit uh, that was their second release of the Excalibur unit. It's the original invaders where you have the top two rows initially. But as they get lower, they will add the uh, third invader down here. Uh, the bunker does get destroyed and your base ship and since this is a bank to play this you have to put a quarter in or any change really and once you put the change in you'll earn credits over here and get three ships to play the game here's another shot of the of the front showing the bank again everything seems to be in really really good shape it just arrived uh, literally about an hour ago and here's uh, some of the side art unfortunately I can't read any Japanese whatsoever but fortunately pictures are universal so you can kind of see, you play the game, earn credits, when you put in chains inside the machine. And here's the other side of the box. Again, the detail they put into this little guy uh, is pretty nice. Not only the box, but the actual uh, tabletop itself. And again, I have no idea what this says, but I'm sure it's important. But uh, this is all I care about, is the actual unit. So even the instructions were included. And again, fortunately, they put lots of uh, photographs in here. And basically it shows you how to play the game Space Invaders, uh, how to get to the, uh, the area for the batteries, and to get the uh, change out of your bank as necessary. And even the instruction manual is very crisp, so whoever had this before me, uh, I gave them very good feedback. It was shipped very well, which is not always the case with these type of things. But the box, the unit, and even the instructions are in really, really good shape, and I got it for a really good price, so I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Here's another shot of the uh, of the box art, again showing the invaders in, in the gameplay. Okay, now we have the unit outside of the box, and you can see, just like the tabletop, they had glass. This is obviously uh, not glass, it's plastic, but it's got a really nice shine. It's very true to the, uh, the tabletop Space Invaders. Even it's got the side bumpers on here. And unfortunately, it's not English, but the original Japanese instructions for Space Invaders, one facing this way for this player, one facing this way for this player. Now, uh, the original machine had a joystick and fire buttons on one side and the other side this only has it on the one side and that and that's okay he even had the original sticker decal that covered the play area and it's still in really good shape now I did take this off and I put it on some wax paper uh, to keep it in really good shape now here's a shot of the control area you have your joystick which does work for your left and right movement a reset button your fire button and the coin slot. You must put change in here to play the game. Uh, if you press any of the buttons, it'll go into like a little demo for a few seconds and go back off. But to actually play it, you do have to put change in the coin slot. And here's a shot of one of the sides. And I thought this was really neat too. They even included here, as you can see, on the original arcade machine, they had this little sticker stating the information about the voltage, the watts, the frequency, the model number. And that's just a really nice touch. And again, it's in perfect condition. So I'm really happy about that. They really put a lot of detail into this machine, and uh, that's really, really nice. Now, my camera, unfortunately, didn't focus here too well. My cell phone's not always the best at focusing, but it's the only one I think that's out of focus. Here's the other side of the unit. You can see there's no scratches, just some fingerprints, which will clean right off. Uh, I guess there's a tiny little scratch right here, but with a little clean up, you'll probably never even notice that. Here's a shot down again. Even the instruction manual is in really good shape. All the internal plastics were included there in really good shape got a really nice shine uh, the person really took good care of this little guy now here's the underneath and what you basically need to do is this leg these all pull apart they're just pushed in together so you just pull this right off take this screw here and this screw here out and this will slide off and that's to get to the change and the battery area you can see it just sits in right there with some pressure these all pull apart it's, it's not super delicate but it's also not super strong but it's in good shape right now and as long as I take care of it I'm sure it'll be fine you can see the spring, uh, the screws even spring loaded, which is a nice, again, a nice touch. Take the two screws out, the screws come right up, and then you can slide this tray right out. And you can see I have been playing it. The uh, coins are right down here in the lower tray. 
and there's actually a switch in here that turns it off uh, when you pull out this tray and there's another screw here that takes three uh, AA batteries in this location here so here is the tray just sitting by it's a little lonesome and you can see here's the coin slot so when you put coins in here it simply drops down after it goes through the mechanism and sits in the lower tray and again just a nice shot here of the coin going here and simply go through a little mechanism that detects something going through it could be a coin it probably be a, a slug or anything it'll probably go right through on it and you can see here's a little switch that enables and disables it if the uh, tray is out and you see we unscrew that one screw and you see the contacts are nice and clean it takes three regular AA batteries and you want to make sure they are new uh, because it is backlit and if the batteries are not uh, in good shape uh, the backlight gets a little bit weak on it so that's it so what I'm gonna do now is switch this over to some video footage I took of the machine and some gameplay so let's have a look so what I have here it looks like a little cocktails uh, space invader game by Tato and you can see it's got a control panel here uh, it does have a working joystick left and right a working fire button and a working coin slot because this is a, a bank so you can see uh, it's got some change in it and I can kind of hear it rattling in there and it's got a nice little screen here and all you need to do to play the game is take a quarter or any change and put it in the coin slot like so and the game will turn on give you a credit and here we go Oh, I got hit already. And on the upper part of the screen, you see the two main types of invaders and the UFO. Uh, the bunkers do take damage. And if you put more coins in, in the lower right, there is a credit area where you'll get more credits. You start off with three bases, and as the invaders get lower, you will get the third invader uh, at the bottom. This is actually pretty neat. You can see there, there's now the third invader as they get lower. Well, I'm getting in trouble here with these invaders. Man, these are harder to hit. Oh, you got me. That's it. So not bad for a nice little tabletop uh, display. A nice little space invader. It's pretty nice. And to be honest, uh, this could also be changed out uh, and put a little Raspberry Pi in there and make it into a real Space Invaders. But not too bad. I got this off eBay uh, from a guy over in England. And uh, I like it. And it automatically shuts off uh, when the coin runs out. And that's it. So not too shabby. I, I like it. I'm not sure if they made any more banks like this. But I definitely like this one. I'm definitely a Space Invader guy. And uh, I like it. So that's it.